Welcome back to KX News. It's day two of the Mandan A's Invitational, and we've got a full slate of highlights as each team looks to secure their seating for the semifinals and championship game tomorrow. First game is between this Bellfield South Heart Knights and the Minot Metros. Starting in the top of the fourth scoreless game, Levi Velas flashes the leather behind the dish to catch this pop-up on the bunt attempt by the Knights. Still 0-0 in the top of the sixth inning until Braden Castro hits a double that deflects off the third baseman's glove and allows the first run of the game to come around and score. Knights loaded the bases in the top of the sixth with two outs. While pitch opens the door for another run, Levi Galas corrals it, flips to the pitcher for the out of the plate. Top of the final inning, Knights looking to add to their lead. Mark Fitterer with the single to the left. An error on the left fielder sends the ball into the dugout. Mason Kessel scores. Last chance for Minot. Evan Walter slams the door shut with a strikeout to end the game. An exclamation point on the no-hitter for Walter in a masterful performance. The Knights now move to 1-1 one one on the weekend with that no-hitter and 3-0 win over the Metros. Second game of the day pits the Burlington Bulldogs against the East Grand Forth Post 157. We'll start in the top of the first. Scoreless game and Burlington's Paxton Yastas makes sure it stays that way as he sets down the side on strikes to start the game. Now, bottom of the first. The Bulldogs start the scoring on this two RBI double down the left field line by Braden Nelson. 2-0 Bulldogs. Then, Nelson find his, finds his way to third, and he is driven in by the next batter, Paxton Yastas, on a sacrifice fly to increase the Bulldog lead to three. But they won't stop there. Ryan Ralph adds the exclamation point to the inning with a single that scores two as five Bulldogs cross the plate in the first inning. Moving to the bottom of the second, East Grand Forks pitcher Caden Walsh is able to strike out the Bulldog hitter with the bases loaded, no outs. Burlington outscores East Grand Forks 14-4. However, they were disqualified from the game because their starter passed the pitch limit. So in the official scorebook, this one goes down as a 1-0 win for East Grand Forks, moving them to 1-1 one one this weekend. Moving on to the Mandan A's first of two games today, this one against the Bismarck Senators. Starting in the top of the first with the Senators at the plate, scoreless game, but Bismarck is threatening early because of this single by Cash Weisenberger to load the bases. Bottom of that same frame, the A's break through first with a bloop shot by Troy Gerhardt that allows Peyton Copy to score, 1-0 Mandan. Couple batters later for the A's and the floodgates have opened early. Aiden Bosner bounces the ball over the head of the third baseman to give Mandan a three-run lead. Still in the first inning with Mandan at the plate, Zach Wheeler drops one in front of the left fielder for another run for Mandan, and they lead 5-0. Now, top of the second, and the Senators start to break through. Quinn Carlson sends a single back up the middle that scores two runs and cuts the deficit to 5-3. Mandan takes this game 9-4 as they now move to 2-0 on the weekend before their nightcap against the Knights as the Senators drop to 2-1 and await their opponent in the semifinal tomorrow. And for the final game of the day between the Mandan A's and the Belfield South Heart Knights. Bottom of the fourth, A's up 11-5 with the runner on second. Knights catcher Caden Zatcher comes up firing to throw out the would-be base stealer at third. Knights back at the plate in the top of the fifth. Same score, ace pitcher Eli Kleineck gets the hitter to extend the zone for the strikeout to end the inning for Mandan. Bottom of the fifth with the A's still up 11-5. Jack Took drives in Dante Burdine with a single up the middle just beyond the reach of the shortstop to extend the Mandan lead to 12-5. That 12-5 score would hold for the rest of the way for Mandan as they move to the semifinals 